The small town of Mayren is situated three miles from Geneva, Switzerland, and one mile from the Swiss-French border. In this otherwise quiet town is the largest particle physics laboratory in the world, owned and operated by CERN, the European Organization of Nuclear Research. Probability suggests that as well as never hearing of CERN before, you have interacted directly with the fruit of their work on a regular, if not daily basis for the past 10 or so years. This is the organization that gave mankind the internet, arguably the first wonder of the digital age. 175 meters beneath May Rin, inside the CERN Physics Laboratory, is their most recent and groundbreaking experiment to date. Housed within a tunnel of 27 kilometers in circumference, is the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, the largest and most powerful particle accelerator to ever be constructed. The LHC is built in the same tunnel as its predecessor, the Large Electron Positron Collider, which was functional from 1989 to 2000. It collected data on types of particles referred to as the W and Z bosons. In 2000, the machine had been running at maximum capacity and was dismantled to make way for the LHC a particle accelerator powerful enough to push the boundaries of modern science in ways previously unimaginable. When activated, it is hoped that the LHC will produce the elusive Higgs boson particle, the observation of which would confirm predictions and complete missing links in our current understanding of physics. Inside the LHC, particles are fired at 99.9% .9 of the speed of light. Two beams of protons travel at maximum energy, resulting in 600 collisions every second. When the particles collide, temperatures 100,000 times hotter than the sun are created. In contrast, a cooling system has to be employed. Superfluid helium keeps the temperatures down to 1.9 Kelvin, above absolute zero, making the LHC the world's largest oven and fridge. The collisions creating this excess of energy will be analysed by various detector stations, together with CERN's distributed computing network that will record the results of each collision and bring us one step closer to understanding matter on a fundamental level. The LHC projects cost £3.5 billion, including machine operation, construction and personnel. The cost of the LHC is mainly paid for by the 20 members of CERN, with significant contribution from the six observer nations. Although the standard model predicts that the energy produced by the LHC is too low, there are still many concerns that micro black holes could be produced. When confronted with this, physicists reassure us that any black hole will be so weak it will disappear the same instant of its creation. This, however, leads to another concern, of matter that both simultaneously exists and doesn't exist at precisely the same moment. This refers to the theoretical phenomenon of strangelets. Scientists are still unsure of the possible consequences of the appearance of strangelets. When the LHC is switched on, it is hoped that it would verify the existence of the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle. The verification of the Higgs boson would be a groundbreaking step for the grand unified theory and mankind's understanding of the universe. In a recent poll by the BBC, the decision to turn on the LHC was split 50-50. In contrast, the scientific community almost unanimously would turn it on. Either way, in May 2008, the world will never be the same again.